welcome. I'm Peggy. Thank you for letting us share a part of your day. And we have we have some good information for you that I think maybe maybe we can all benefit from. I hope so. But uh, uh, it seems to me that our nation has we become more and more violent. The television is violent. You go to the movie theaters. Everything is and. I think we've always had violence since the beginning of mankind, but but maybe we need to step back and think a little bit about ownership of guns, about how we talk to our children about violence. And I have two people here, Jack Logan. Jack and I have known each other for quite a while, and he's been on my show any number of times. And he has founded something called Put down the guns now, young people, okay? And you know firsthand, you, you visit people in prison, you go where you're needed. And I'm very grateful that you've come to share with us today. And next to him is Pastor Bobby Bryant. Now, Pastor Bryant is uh, uh, part of the re outreach ministry, Renew. Yes, ma'am. Outreach ministry in Calhoun Falls. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And thank you for coming. Now, is that ministry, is that a church, a physical church? It is a physical church, and it's also um, it's a, a place where I also mentor kids. Uh, is that, and uh, I have programs year round. Um, when school is out, um, there's something that, that I call Super Saturday that I try to get the kids to be involved with, being active. I give education programs there. Uh, about the Bible, your education program, about schooling. Um, have some people um, that will come down and teach them um, when they are disturbed, um, when they are not passing their grades with some things. So, so many areas that we try to um, cater on to, to try to meet the needs of the kids that's in the community. So you see you're working with young people beginning about age five yes, all the way through high school. Yes, ma'am. And your outreach is to try to give them something positive. Yes, ma'am. Do you find that, that there are a lot of kids out there in, all over our area here that, that don't have the positive influence in their lives? I do find that, and I do find that uh, simply because of, of some of the history of some of the kids, uh, some of them um, growing up without a father, their father in prison, and a single mother is raising them. And that's when you begin to start seeing disturbing in the family. Uh, in the household, if you will say, uh, because uh, uh, they're not having that that perspective, the man perspective that uh, a young man or young boy would need uh, to strive for life, and uh, and there are some things that uh, a mother cannot teach a young man. Uh, there are things that you can um, do, but as a single parent, uh, it is extremely hard to try to cater to one child if you have ten kids or six kids. Uh, as for myself, I come from a huge family. Uh, it's 10, and I'm the youngest of the family. But I was able to uh, reciprocate of my brothers and of my sisters. Even though there wasn't a father there, it was a single parent raising, but it was 12 kids that was there that was being um, in the need of each other. We was there. Um, cater to each other, um, there for each other, caring and loving for each other. And when there's uh, misrups and stuff, you know, we always had a pastor that would come in and mentor us and to help us to strive for better and for great things. And therefore, that was a positive sign that we did and we was able to see. Uh, now, this generation, this time as decades and decades have came a long way, um, you start to see a little change you know, because of I'm not saying that um, they don't know the laws, it's just that they have embraced the laws a little bit more. Um, there's more crimes out there. Technology is, is, is more, you know, aware. And there's so much thing that, you know, easily to get into and so profound now um, that, you know, the laws have to change. And the laws have to change for the better because of, of, of the gray atmosphere and how technology have grown itself. So. As technology gets smarter, then the laws got to get smarter. And we have to bring about a change. We have to reroute some things and redirect some things so that, that, that we can enhance what's going on so we can kind of put a stop or kind of put things in control 
not necessarily stop it, but if we can control things, you know, it will kind of um, um, help, you know, people be uh, reformed from those things. And, and this, I believe that. these problems are not related yes. to one particular race Absolutely. or one particular area. All race. It, it, mm -hmm. It's all through our, yes. our civilization. Absolutely. And I, I have to show you this. This was in the newspaper, the local newspaper. And I got, I, I got angry. I mean, on the other side, they've got fishing poles and all that. Oh, well, that's fine. You turn this over and it's all guns. And we've had a mad love affair in this country with guns. And our Constitution gives us the right to bear arms to def our forefathers. God bless them. They had come from a civilization where they could be taken over by another country. And they saw this as a danger for our nation. So they wrote our Constitution so that we could defend ourselves against invasion, against foreign enemies. But I think it's, it, it's gone beyond now reason. I mean, who, tell me something, you, you're smart. Who can own a gun? What does the law say about a gun? Who a can person, buy a gun? A person 18 can buy a rifle. You must be 21 to buy a handgun. Okay, so you have to be 21 to buy a handgun mm -hmm. and 18 to buy a rifle. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the state of South Carolina. That's in, our, that's in South Carolina. If you're in Georgia or North Carolina, you know, it could be something else. Mm -hmm. But that's what this state says. Mm -hmm. Okay. But also you can buy a gun on the street in See, the state of South Carolina. Uh, okay. And with that being said, a person... 19 can buy a handgun on the street, although they should not. It will break the law if they buy one. But if they get caught with that gun, they're going to be charged with carrying a gun under the age of carrying a weapon. Uh, and that's what's going on in the state. We need those laws changed that um, guns cannot be sold on the street, only from retail, you know, like a gun store, Walmart, mm -hmm. or anyone who sells guns, so that that background check can be done but right now, as the law is written in the state of South Carolina, people selling guns on the street. So you mean I could just go downtown and meet and, you in front on Main Street and, 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 and give you money and, and, and take and, the gun? And, and go your no way. No questions asked. No questions asked. And then, that, with that being said, that's how so many guns are on the street, from people breaking into people's houses, breaking into cars. And they steal the gun. And they steal and then, the gun, and they sell it and make money, and then... A sad thing is still with so many, uh, so many teens got guns. You have drug dealers who give young boys guns to go and sell drugs. Then on the other hand, you have those young boys who selling marijuana, and that person, that person who own a gun legally, who want something to smoke, they will swap out the marijuana for the gun. And that is a problem. Give the young boy, or the person under the age, a gun. That's why that those are problems. But what the young people don't understand, if they get caught with that gun, that's a violent crime, and that goes against when they go out and apply for a job when they're 35 or 40. That haunt them for the it's rest. It's still on of their, their record. That's still mm -hmm. on them for the rest of their life. And my advice to them: you don't need a gun until you turn 21 so that you can be a law-abiding citizen and that you can go get a job in a place that that illegal gun may haunt you. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we have got to look at law enforcement as well as, and prosecution, blame them for some of this. I was t talking earlier, when people burglarize a home and take the person's gun, well, when they go to court, they're charged with both crimes burglarizing and taking a gun. But by burglary in this state, carrying so much prison sentence, well, the prosecution would say, well, you plead guilty to breaking into this house, we'll just drop the gun charge. Well, you got a loose gun on the street because the mm -hmm. police have to move on to the next case. They don't have time to track down mm -hmm. guns. We need to put more emphasis on guns being stolen out of homes and out of cars and make sure that that charge carries more jail time okay. than breaking into a house. Question, 
Suppose you legally own a gun mm -hmm. and it is stolen, either out of your house or mm -hmm. out of your car. What is your responsibility? Should you report that that gun has yes, been stolen? Yes, you should report that that gun is stolen. And I want every homeowner uh, or, or every person, they have oh. a gun in their home. When they are away from their home, they need to lock the gun up. Because this, let me hold this okay, up. That this. is a gun lock and they're free. That will prevent that person from using that gun so quick to go kill someone with it. Now, if a person say, well, Jack, I'm not going to lock my gun up. Well, you may come back from the grocery store and there stand that person who broke into your house waiting on you to come back and use your own gun and kill you with it. I just met a mother yesterday. Her son left a gun on his car seat down in Georgia. Someone broke into his car and stole his gun. She said he haven't slept a night worrying that his gun could be the gun used to take another person's life or hurt and a, he's another innocent. person. He had done he's it. innocent. So yeah. these gun here's a gun lock. You say they're free? They're free. And we'll be more than we'll drive we'll take it on to Texas if we have to to protect the child from getting hurt. We we've had too many children within the last three weeks been hurt accidentally by guns mm. in the state of South Carolina. Every time you pick up the newspaper, and, there's yeah. something yeah. like that and has happened. As long as you pick it up. And so, there's, it's, it's senseless. So these gun locks are free. They're free. And you can get them from you law enforcement? You can get them from law enforcement. The law enforcement have those guns, and I, and I hope some of them are listening. Their job is to not let those guns sit up on a desk and get those locks. They need to be passing those out. We partnered up with Project Child Safe. I was telling you the other, last time I was here, we have received 1,500 gun locks from Project Ch Child Safe within three months because we are putting those out on the street. They say that they don't get those requests from law enforcement because they're sitting in the office. Mm -hmm. And this law enforcement job is to put those out. Okay. All right. So, suppose, I, I know I, we have to go to a break, but I want to ask you this question. Somebody's sitting out there thinking, okay, I have a gun. I know how to use it, and I legally have a right to that gun. But if I have it all locked up, and I need that gun to protect myself, by the time I get it unlocked well, and all that, first, it's useless. Well, first of all, they, what should, do you say to they shouldn't like have that? the gun locked if they're at home with the gun. The gun, I don't want them to have the gun locked. They should, now, they have small children okay. in the house. All right. They should have that gun away from that child. No, I don't want the gun locked. Now, for, for an example, if that gun is on this table and they decide to walk me to the door or go out with Pastor Bryant, well, that gun is laying here loose and that child runs yeah. from the bedroom. And that's, that has happened within the last two weeks. I know. You know and, but parents need to be more alert, more aware, because they teach their child not to touch a hot stove. They can teach their child not to pick up a gun and they can put a lock on that gun. This is a, a gun is a deadly weapon, mm -hmm. a deadly weapon. We uh, have gone to too many mortuaries this summer looking down on children that could have been avoided. But I'll say this, and people may get mad at me, I've seen enough of this. Parents have got to go to jail. Just like the young man in Georgia, they charged him with murder of his own child because his child picked up that gun. It hurt me that young man is charged with that. But at the same time, okay, we must do something. All right, we must do something. Now we're going to go to a break. We have to do that, and then we're going to come back. And uh, so, don't go away.